How's it going guys, my name is Bonnie Kiwi and welcome back to another Roblox Skyblock video. In this video, we are going to be building a brand new AFK auto farm that we can auto click to just collect loads of clean crops from. Obviously because of the new oily crops update, we have to have an industrial washer in there, but we're also going to add some of the new sprinklers so that the crops grow super fast and it's going to be the best, the best farm that you will ever see in your whole life, honestly. And obviously it's a full tutorial, so you'll see how to build the full thing for yourself. But before we dive in and do that, I just want to ask you to please like the video and also subscribe if you're brand new here. We're trying to get to 100k, we're at 62k right now. I would really appreciate you subscribing and also comment below as well because I'd love to hear from you guys. So, and also don't forget to turn on notifications, then you'll get to know when all the new videos come out okay so let's go and get started on building this farm i'm going to make it a carrot farm because i have loads of carrot totems and loads of carrot seeds because i broke down my carrot farm from before also my onion <laughs> farm obviously is producing so much uh, oily onions right now i did if i put a washer right here that turns into a fully functioning uh, auto washing onion farm. It's a quick hack fix to fix the old farms. I also did a video on how to how to fix your old farms. You can check that out. But in this one, we're going to be building a whole brand new farm. I would just build it. Obviously, I would have the industrial washer still in there, but I only have one because propellers are super rare. I've been trying to buy them. I've been trying to fish out new ones. I can't. So for now, we only have this one, and it's going to go into the brand new carrot farm. Obviously, other items that you need, of course, are the water catchers. We need them to power our sprinklers which I also have somewhere. There we go, I have 11 sprinklers. That's all I could make with all the gears I had, but that should be more than enough to build a good few layers of this farm. So I'm thinking I want to build it with glass blocks. Now glass panes I feel are much nicer, but glass blocks, um, they are in fact hold a lot more in because they have four sides as opposed to just one. So let's start with our ground layer here. How can we have our ground layer looking and how wide do we want it to be? Because it can be as wide as we possibly want because it's all going to feed down into one chest which we can then use to auto-click and empty. This will be a true AFK farm. So for a bottom layer here, I'm thinking 10 wide should be good enough. And we know we can do three backwards because the totems will take three backwards. It'll be similar to this design, but it'll be much cleaner and neater and more efficient. And also it'll have the water added in as well. Now water catchers can actually power sprinklers for up to nine blocks in every direction so one here will be enough the problem is though that we should use two because the water catchers do empty really quick okay so i think that is good enough there actually we should put them back one more because the sprinklers need space I'm actually going to change this up and i'm going to put the sprinklers in here like so because there you go you will see they water in a full block round like that so i think that's more efficient take that out there sprinkler there so i think going by this system it will be three sprinklers per layer of the auto farm i'm actually going to change this to be nine just so it's more even <laughs> Okay, I moved that along a little bit. So we've got two space at the end of here, two space at the end of here, and we can use this middle section as a way to travel upwards, I guess, to the next layers. But I think that looks really clean, and I think that will actually work really well. You can see it says no water right now, but that's just because the water catchers actually have to fill up with water. They don't have any water in them just now. Once they, obviously, once they get water in them, they will power to the sprinklers. So I've got 70 carrot totems, which is more than enough to build a whole bunch of layers. Okay, so I think that's a really clean design, and I could actually, I have so much water catchers, because they're actually, I'm going to put four per layer, all right? Because they're actually so easy to build. They only take, like, plain wood and iron. Uh, you could build so many of them, so I think four per layer will mean the sprinklers never really dry up, and they'll just constantly keep spraying water, so I like that. Let's go ahead and get our conveyor belts. So obviously you need a conveyor belt for every single totem. Like this. So yeah, that's going to be the basic design for every single layer that we put onto this new farm. Now obviously they wouldn't go anywhere right now. They will just simply fall into the floor. So I need to dig, I need to build downwards so that I can actually have this be a layer that drops down. Every layer will be on top of this and drop down of course, but because I've started off on the ground floor, I need to go down a little bit to allow them to drop. Because don't forget, we need to wash all these crops. They are going to be oily crops when they come off the, the conveyor belt, so we do need to make sure we're auto-washing them as well. 
Okay, so we need to look underneath here and we're going to have to put blocks underneath because we need to bring the base level down a little bit. Now, I didn't actually have to build this down a level from the way I'm going to build it. I, I could have built it, if you look at the one I built over here, I obviously ignore the mess of it, but it's like a pyramid system. They st like steps, they go down the steps and conveyor belts and then they meet one in the middle and then they go forward. I'm not going to do this one like steps. Uh, I'm just going to, I'll show you just now what, how I'm going to do this one. It's completely untested, of course, so I just need to hope that it works, but that's why we're building it together, so we can find out. So, my idea is, if I have conveyor belts running this way into the middle, and also conveyor belts running this way, then when they fall from all the upper layers, uh, they'll fall down into here. They'll fall down onto these conveyor belts, sorry, they'll be pushed left, or they'll be pushed right, but uh, inevitably they'll all be pushed into the middle here. So sorry, it does have to go down a step, yeah, because if I put these conveyor belts in front of these ones, you see the conveyor belts have like a, uh, an edge, uh, a metal edge on the side, so they won't actually fall from that conveyor belt to that one unless we go down a step, which we've done. We now need to go down just one more step so we can have it fall onto the straight line. Uh, I'll show you that in just a sec. So I'm going to take all this floor away just so we can go down one more block. Okay, we went down one more block, so now what we have to do is take away this and put a conveyor belt in here that faces forward, like so. They will all drop onto that conveyor belt. I want to make it a little bit longer, okay, because I, want, I don't want this clogging up, so I want to make sure it's got space uh, to not clog up. I've got to take this back a little bit here. I want to clear space for obviously for the industrial washer. Okay, there we go. So, I also wanted to make some more uh, space on the conveyor, some extra room in the conveyor belt so that we can put our coal totem there. Let me just find that. Okay, let me plop this just here. There we go. Now that will now put coal automatically onto this conveyor belt and automatically into the oven, which needs coal to power it. To power it. Now I obviously need to extend this bottom layer here. Now I like the idea of mine being slightly in the ground. I think it's like a, it's kind of a nice effect, but the way you can avoid that is obviously just to build up uh, and start yours higher than the ground, then you won't have to build into the ground like I'm doing, but I actually quite like it being in the ground. Okay, so we're gonna put another conveyor belt here and then we're gonna grab our chest and we're gonna stick that there and that is the full system. That is it, that will completely work as is. And obviously we need to do some some uh, things to stop us losing onions and obviously we have to, be, uh, sorry carrots or whatever vegetable you're using, I'm using carrots and also we have to make it higher so we have multiple layers. We want to get it working completely first though before we add multiple layers. So we need our carrot seeds which will obviously get things going. 217, there we go. Let's plant these round here. Now they should grow way faster than the old farms did because they are going into watered soil. You could make it go even faster by having fertilizer, but the fertilizer can't be automated. You've got to put that down by hand. You've got to go around and put it by hand. And that kind of takes the, defeats the purpose of it being an AFK farm, but they'll still grow way faster in the watered soil. I tested that out in the sprinkler video. I tested it out in the wheat. If it's watered, it grows much faster. It's like a good 30 seconds faster. I think like 45 seconds faster actually. It does actually go a lot faster. But it just looks so nice as well. It looks like a proper farm with the sprinklers going off and stuff. I love it. But yeah, let's fill some of this in. Obviously, we don't want to be losing carrots as they come off. So we don't need all this extra space here. We can have this nice and tight all the way up in the conveyor belt. Actually, I think we're going to have to move the coal totem up higher just so we can actually close this off. We'll put it like here and then we'll have one more conveyor belt that drops it down. I'll show you that in a sec. Now also we fill up here so that the carrots that are falling down can't bounce off here and disappear. I actually honestly think this looks really cool being built into the ground. And don't worry, we're going to use glass. You could be doing this with glass if you wanted to see in there, but I'm going to put glass uh, obviously from this point onwards above so that we can look down. Um, the only thing that you need to be open and accessible is the chest, obviously, so you can open it and then you'll set your auto-clicker. But well, I'll show you everything. Don't worry, if you're feeling lost, we'll get everything under control. So the coal totem, if we put this, I feel like we should put it there. Actually, that's not quite right. It needs to go one back from there so we can put a conveyor belt in front of it. So we'll actually drop the coal. It will put the coal onto the conveyor belt and it will drop off the edge onto here and then it will go into the industrial washer. That is our full basic design. Uh, I really like how clean it looks. I've been, I've been trying to go for the most clean as possible way to do it. Okay, you see the coal drop in there? Drops perfectly onto the conveyor belt, perfectly into the washing station. And they will start dropping carrots down there very soon as well. You can see them all being put onto the totem there. They're almost ready to go. There they go. The oily carrots are being dropped down and it's working perfect. 
first time I tested it obviously and the first time I built one that looks like this but it does work just perfectly. Straight into the chest, nice clean carrots like that. And you'll just set your auto clicker up, set your mouse cursor here, press go on the auto clicker, do -do 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 collecting all the crops. Magic. Now obviously we want this to fill fast so we want to build more layers to it. Now that we know that it's absolutely working 100%, and we can see the totem is picking up the carrots even from this back layer and it's replanting the seeds as well. We could actually extend this like another two ways here and this totem would pick up like the three. But we'd have to add more sprinklers and then more the water stations might up. You know, it's, it gets a bit complicated then. I might do that if it's not proven efficient. But I think if we add enough layers it will be perfectly efficient here. And I'm going for the cleanest look possible here. So I'm going to just add a straight up block in the middle i can actually take this away once i've built the top block now you have to make sure you go four blocks high four blocks high is where you clear the uh the level of the totem so like when we're building forward like this you'll know how far forward you have to build because you have to reach the end of the conveyor belts this has to be a conveyor belt layer this has to be a totem layer then you need your three seed layers then we have a little space then we have our water okay we could actually move the water forward one but we'll see how it looks so we can now actually take away this layer. We don't actually need this, and it looks even cleaner. Let's just fill this, uh, fill this new platform all the way out. There we go. Now, even though we're built, we're at the stage where we're building more layers. It's not completely finished yet, guys. We'll have to do some extra precautions at the end to make sure we don't lose. Because the higher up in the layers you go, layers you go, the more chance you have of losing crops because they can bounce in all weird kind of directions. So we will close all this off. But let's just get some more layers in first though. So we have the conveyor belts at the end here. Then we have the carrot totems. Now obviously it would make sense, the most sense for you to do this with onions because the onions do give the most money. It's only by five coins, it's not a huge difference, but obviously if you're cashing in like 20,000 vegetables uh, at once, then that is quite a significant amount that you could, more that you could be getting if they were onions instead of carrots. So then we need to turn this into the squares like this, remember? So we can put our sprinklers in the middle. So it's this little square design here, like that. Then we grab our sprinklers, plop, plop, plop. And then we put our seeds down. And then our four water catchers, just like that. I could even add five in and all in there, but four is more than enough. I left a gap in the middle because I wasn't sure if I'm going to put like a blocks on top, like ladders in the middle so we can climb up between layers. But one, honestly, once the farm's automated and fully going, you don't need to climb up between layers. I have done that in this one where you can climb up between the layers, but you just don't have to. It's just a waste of ladders, to be honest. The farms take care of themselves. And this chest is almost filled up now, which is awesome. But look how clean that looks. Honestly, I'm so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so clean. And I'm just going to go up here and we're going to build another layer. We go four high. Again, you can move them forward if you don't want this extra line here, but I think having this line here just makes it look even a bit a bit more cleaner. It just kind of separates it a little bit. There we go. We have another layer. Take these out. Now I need to find a way to get up there <laughs> and do this and then plop that up. Oh, I can get rid of these blocks in a minute, obviously. There we go. We get up here and back to placing the conveyor belts and the totems. Now guys, obviously you can make this uh, as as high as you want, depending on the amount of totems and the amount of seeds and sprinklers and everything that you can afford to craft. But obviously you don't want to go too high because if you go too high, uh, then it starts becoming a bit ridiculous. Like this onion farm here, I just made it go way too high. But like I explained before, that was for a separate video. That was an experiment. And I actually have to watch the way I'm placing these water towers here because they still work regardless of what way you place them, I think. But Look at the little hoses, they're facing sideways and backwards. I don't like that. They should always be facing forwards. Um, so because you can't rotate items in Skyblock, you always have to make sure you're face placing them like this. So the hoses always face forward. And the sprinklers, and that's another layer complete. There we go, look how clean that is. And they're falling off from all the different layers. You see, obviously, we're not actually losing any just now because it's not too high, but a couple more layers and they'll start doing crazy bounces. This is getting clogged up because the coal's not falling fast enough, but it's not a huge issue. The coal will get down there eventually. Uh, you'll see it fall in just a sec, and then obviously that'll power it up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's actually really efficient. There goes the two lumps of coal. Uh, perfect. Honestly, I'm so happy with that. We could actually speed it up by putting another conveyor belt here and another coal totem there, but I feel like too much coal dropping down will clog up the, the crops that are falling down. So, But we'll see. We'll just monitor it and we'll see how it goes. But I just honestly, I think that's so clean. I love this new design. 
people are getting so worried obviously with the farms when they added oil the crops but honestly in the long run this is even better the crops will grow faster uh, because of the sprinklers and uh, with it with I have to go through the washing station but it's a really quick process to go through there so it's really not that bad yeah you see how we've got one falling off there obviously we need to block this in with glass blocks but I'm gonna go ahead and just put another couple layers on this to get rid of all the, the totems and sprinklers and stuff that I have left I'm actually just going to go ahead and add ladders right here so that we can travel up it if we have to, like I have to right now to add another layer in. <laughs> you don't actually have to put ladders against a block, remember that, you can just have them at the side here which I think looks cool. Okay, so four layers is actually the most I can go up right now, uh, only because I've ran out of sprinklers. Now, in order to make sprinklers, you need crystallized iron. The only way to get crystallized iron is to mine iron ore for ages until it finally drops the crystallized iron. So I'll do that later, I'll get more sprinklers, and I will keep expanding this. But obviously, we've got an, more than enough now to fill this chest up regularly. It's already, I mean, it's overflowing right now. It's already completely filled. And I'm really, I'm not losing any really. One or two I've seen fly off, but honestly, I'm hardly losing any right now. There's one right there. We do need to come up with some safety precautions. That'll be the last step, which we'll do in just a sec. Once I just finish off this ladder real quick, so it reaches the top. There we go. So first step is to put glass blocks all the way along here. That actually needs to go in one like this and that means we can lose nothing off the sides take this all the way around like this even over the gap of course we don't need to do it along the back that's fine and we'll simply just do that all the way up and around it just to keep the farm closed in but before we do that it's also a good idea to take the glass panes and just put them in front of the conveyor belts now what this will do is um, when they fall off they'll hit the glass pane and fall straight down it will stop them from coming out, uh, coming out too much we don't need to do it from the bottom for the bottom layer, obviously, because the bottom layer just falls straight onto the correct conveyor belts anyway. But just for the other layers, uh, I recommend just putting this uh, this layer of glass panes just along in front of the conveyor belt. It acts as like a little stopper. Okay, there we go. And just like that, that is the full design. I uh, hopefully you agree. It's filled up as well, only with there's one oily carrot that got in there. Um, that must have been before I, just before, because I've not finished the walls, some of the oil of carrots are bouncing off the top and making it over the top of here, but obviously when, once I finish closing this all off, uh, that won't happen, because they will all fall straight down here, and the only place they'll be able to go is the conveyor belts, which of course they'll end up in the middle, and then they'll end up in here, and then they'll end up in here. I'm going to go ahead and just finish closing this off, and that will be us completely done. Okay, we are done. Look at all the oily carrots coming off of there. It's perfect. This is filled up. Yeah, I love that. It's such a clean design. Look at my onion just bounce past my face. The onion, that, that's gonna need broken down. It's gonna take like a day to break all that down because I'm, I'm not happy with it. And uh, yeah, I think it needs to be built like this way. I, I mean, I don't have to break it down. I can just modify it. Yeah, I think I'll modify it at some point when I can be bothered. <laughs> but I really like this new design. I've shown you step by step all the way how to make it, how to do each of the layers and uh, how to keep it all closed in so you don't lose anything. I'm not now not losing a single carrot, and if I did lose one or two, it wouldn't be a big deal because obviously I'm, they're, you know, they're making, they're getting made fast enough. Ideally, I'll add maybe a couple more rows to it and then it'll just be, it'll be max efficiency then, I think. I may add another conveyor belt and another coal totem there, just so there's a lot of coal going in. But yeah, that's four layers. As, yeah, I'd maybe take it up to like seven or eight and then it'll just be producing so much carrots. This, this will literally be filling up so, so fast. And you know, just as a little extra touch, I'm just going to put this around the outside, just in case anything takes a little awkward bounce in there, which I don't think it will, but that's just some extra protection as well. And I'm actually going to put, you know what I'm going to do? I actually really like this. I'm going to put this here. <laughs> so when I'm, <laughs> how good is that? When I'm auto-clicking AFK in my farm, because obviously I can still access the chest from here, uh, I'll just be auto-clicking like this. I'll just be chilling at the end there. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you like this as well. I hope that you found this helpful uh, with all the changes that have came into play. That's how you can uh, build a new AFK farm where it'll automatically clean your crops, automatically water your crops. And yeah, leave a like in this video if it helped you. Uh, subscribe for more. We're at 62k, trying to reach 100k. Turn on notifications so you get uh, all the rest of the videos. And uh, yeah, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.